What we do instead is instead of doing all of that work with the utilities, we realize that there's power already available at the right level everywhere in existing infrastructure. But instead of that infrastructure being a utility pole, it's a building. So quick snapshot, New York City has 50 five zero public curbside EV chargers. London has almost 6,000. The reason for that is that the accessory feed in London, the power that goes to its lamp posts and its street lights is all 220 or 240. So they can very easily retrofit their existing street furniture into an EV charger. But in the United States, with the exception of LA, all of our street furniture is much lower voltage. It's 110 or 120, which means that again, you're on back on the phone with the utility saying, I need more power. I need to bring in more power. I need a substation upgrade. And you're back in the back of the queue on your line. So what we said, well, guess what, everyone? Buildings have all the power ready to go. And most buildings have spare capacity, meaning they have extra spots available on their panel. And that's why it's so easy for you to put that charger in your garage. So what we're doing is we're just plugging our charger, which sits on the curb, and we're running a small conduit below the sidewalk, and we're powering it from the spare capacity in the building that's right next to it. And then to incentivize that building to let us do this, we then revenue share back to them.